Hello family and friends, welcome back to the channel. This weekend was an incredible special one as we stepped into a world of love and celebration. We are thrilled to guide you through the beautiful journey of Shina's and Enrico's wedding. So grab your popcorn, hit that subscribe button and let's dive into the magic day of Shina and Enrico's wedding. Like, comment, comment, share, share, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, we love you, love you, love you, baby. Till the end of time, the wind blows and call this the night. Make way for be my baby. Make way for be my baby. Make way for be my baby. Mutima was a girl. Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, so today we have a wedding. Thursday. Yeah. You know what time it is? Matu of Lutin, now we have a wedding. Shimukandi, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we have a wedding at our village. My aunt is getting, okay, our aunt is getting, getting married. married. Uh, we're so, tired. Uh -huh. Let's be honest, we are tired. We are very hungry. And, and our luggage so is still in window. Wait, we don't mm. have a tent. <laughs> Oh yeah, we don't oh, know where we technically sleeping. we do, but it's just coming at like late hours. Uh, we don't know where we're sleeping. We're, we're not sleeping we... until the tent comes back. No. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Mm. See you soon. Oh, Shina. Oh, Shina is a traditional dance and ceremonial practice performed at hetero weddings. The dance symbolizes unity, celebration, and the coming together of families. The dance itself is a form of entertainment and a way to honor the couple getting married, bringing communities together to celebrate the union while preserving and showcasing heterocultural traditions. <laughs> Meantime, there's a truck full of like luggages that everybody hasn't claimed yet. Decoration, decoration and luggage. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I mean the decoration. Day one. Orishatano. It's the Friday that marks the beginning of a traditional wedding celebration. That's the main agenda for today. The day usually begins with preparations made by both the brides and groom family. Okumutomore moste maya moinga roto. Shena malu ke hingiro rashinene. Kongware ya mutunda. Makari rashiramba nu endriko shiramba matwara komai. Good morning. How are you? Don't do this. How do you feel being in Oshinene? Don't do this. Good morning. Don't do this. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Shimukandi wo. Shimukandi wo. We are. We are. Don't worry. We are. We are busy working. Mm. So, 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 so you will see us like this. Wait for Saturday. Wait. Wait for Saturday. Oh. Mm. Just, just wait for Saturday. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> what the people are taking one? Go do it. 
Kamu tuh tired away. Very tired. Kamu. Yeah. I'm coming late. Oh, he's air dropping videos. They love this new feature. There we go. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing wedding very much. Yes. Do you like it thus far? No, or do you feel no, like it's very boring? The vibe's gonna start tomorrow, huh? Hey? Yes. Yeah. Look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I haven't been speaking much. I feel like I didn't even really speak a lot. But I look crusty, dusty, busty. Don't even mind that. I've been up and down. You know how weddings are. And we're hosting. Um, however, it's raining currently at the moment. And it's raining a lot. I guess you can consider this as a blessing, you know. And um, yeah, this is just the background of behind the scenes. You know, the ironings and all that jazz. And the bride looks so gorgeous. She looks beautiful. She looks stunning. However, now I think it's time is coming as we change into theme. Looking so beautiful. Thank you. 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 Oshina still continues, while a group of respected elders, family members and community leaders oversee and gather at the kraal for the Lobola negotiation. Specific rituals are performed by the elders, such as prayers, blessings and traditional chants. This process signifies the formalization of the marriage agreement and the blessings sold for the union. Mr. Picture. Mr. Vlogger, Mrs. Vlogger. What's up, Vim Boy? Well, you shall like, comment, share, and subscribe. Eh? I'm very happy. You shall like, share, comment, and subscribe. You shall like, like, comment, comment, share, share, subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Mm. 
Yo, guys, I even look like crusty, dusty, musty. Mara, all weddings and I take them seriously because it's a lot of work, especially if you're hosting. Take the wedding seriously. Ah, this is the food we're having right now. And I'm just so tired. I've been on my feet forever. I'm literally going to disappear. <laughs> What are we saying? 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 That is all I know. That is all I know. What are we saying? What the second day of a herero traditional wedding with its morning purification rituals and the significant departure ceremony of orunde marks a special moment in the wedding celebration. It symbolizes the bride's transition from her parental home to becoming a part of her husband's family, surrounded by rich cultural traditions and heartfelt celebrations. <laughs> So, I don't know what time it is, but we are starting to get ready. We are busy ironing our things, Faustina. 
Say hi, Faustina. Hello, girl. <laughs> yeah, the girl is in the flexi rolls. Something legs or something. Yeah, I don't know what time we're doing our makeup, but yeah. This is the situation. Our um. dresses are here. <laughs> Candy's the there. <laughs> <laughs> we look so gorgeous. <laughs> Where are you think? Mm. I Corunde. Yes, that's what we're waiting for. The bridesmaids are still getting pictures, I think. Yeah. And yeah. And then from there onwards, we're just. It's time for Orunde. Orunde is a significant part of the Herero wedding celebration in which it involves the departure of the bride from her parental home. But before leaving her family home, the bride receives blessings and well wishes from her family members. The bride is adorned in a traditional Herero attire, often like wearing a beautifully decorated Victorian style dress, but this one is called Ohoro Kobayoshi Herero, and a distinctive headdress called Oshikaiva. The procession of the bride leaving her home involves ceremonial singing, dancing, and drumming by family members, symbolizing her transition to married life. <laughs> or review of the camping grounds honestly what are we saying so we're gonna give them a little bit of a camping tour but no before we do that how did you find the wedding thus far uh, so far maybe like a nine out of five. a nine out of five yes because we're still waiting for, for tomorrow th yeah. to find out and Tomorrow tonight. is the last day. And mm. tonight. Mm. Mm. Tonight so is going overall, to be overall, like uh, even the scenery here, mm. the scenery, the service, mm -hmm. the food, even. <laughs> so it's a nine out of five. It's a nine out All of five. Right, cool. Maybe tomorrow it will be a ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. Find out. Okay. Thanks. Mm. It's the Jerome. Kuchi handongo de. One hand up. First, let's actually give you this outfit. I'm by Nori Pattern. <laughs> Just a little question. <laughs> Alright, so how do you find the wedding thus far? Everything is great, everything is splendid. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be this warm, welcoming. And I don't know, it's a good experience. Uh -huh. And I've learned a lot, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it thus far, yes. The food is nice, mm -hmm. that's number one. Everyone is nice. Uh huh. Everyone is together. Yeah. Really okay. Right. I, mean, I really can't complain. How, how much would you rate it out of ten? Out of ten. Uh huh. Seven. That's the music. Oh, Zala. Hello there, Ushi. So, how do you know the bride? Um, she's my aunt. She's my mom's sister. So. Yeah. And any advice? To her in this new I'll journey say, of hers? Okay, I would say she must enjoy the moment, mm -hmm. she must be happy, she must, you know, be herself and take her husband as well, you know, mm -hmm. love is a beautiful thing at the end of the day. What is your favorite part about this wedding thus far? I would say um, the moment the bride leaves the house mm -hmm. and heads to the Oshina, it's called Oshina, and just the way the bride moves mm -hmm. around and that whole process it's very interesting and yeah it was nice to actually be part of that actually yeah 
Thank you. Right, so how do you know the bride? She's our aunt and she's also my godmother. All right, and uh, what advice would you give her on this new journey of hers? Be herself, because that's what got her into, into the journey. All right. I think that's the only thing that's going to continue the journey. All right. Thank you so much for the commentary. <laughs> Hi there. May you please state your name? Um, my name is Rita Silvera Junwedu. And? Um, the bride is my aunt. Uh -huh. We are related twice, basically. She's my aunt and my cousin. Okay. And what was your favorite event or moment for the wedding? I think she told me to do no I didn't know anything, but like I know what to do next time. Because I was like, you know, most when you get sorted and then you're just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, I enjoyed that part very, very much and enjoyed taking pictures with the bride. It was really amazing. She looks gorgeous, doesn't she? She looks gorgeous. And also, this is my first hair dress. I am so in love. I I think I'm into hair dresses now. All right. It's good to connect with culture. Yeah. Okay. All right, may you please state your name and surname? Right, so what was your favorite moment of the wedding thus far? My favorite moment was uh, the Orun Bay mm -hmm. because I've actually never experienced that mm -hmm. in a very long time. Not in a very long time, but actually just never. So I think that was like my most favorite part of the wedding. Alright, and what do you rate the wedding thus far? Thus far, we give it a 10. Out of 10? And any advice to the bride? She will just continue to be the most amazing woman that she is. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Okay, hi Kenny. Hi. Um, so what advice would you give to the bride? Well, one advice that I'll give to the bride is honestly just to be herself. I feel like that is very important and vital. She is already such a gorgeous and wonderful woman as we speak. So if she continues to be that way, everything will go perfectly fine in her new adventure. Um, one more question. Yes. How is the groom related to you and how would you describe him in three words? Alright, so the groom is my father in Herero terms and in English terms, he is my uncle. And to describe the groom in three words is a uh, great smile. <laughs> That's two words. I guess you could say very handsome. The Karupas and the Kotamudis, they eat it up. <laughs> He's very kind. And he's just a vibe to be around with. Okay, thank you, yeah. Kans. Thank you for coming to the wedding. Thank you so and much. look great. Thank Give you. me another 360 again. <laughs> come on. Okay, girl. The king's supposed to come this side. Okay. I traditional wedding Sunday the final ceremonies take place culminating in a departure of the bride to join the groom and his family introduce yourself please oh my name is Don Yo Wende <laughs> culture prince photography uh-huh uh-huh and what was your favorite part about this wedding thus far 
Um, every I enjoyed every part of it actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And My favorite you, part was taking pictures. Taking pictures, eh? Yeah. And so, seeing the smiles on their faces. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. All the bright <laughs> smiles. Man. And do you have any advice for the bride and groom? Gavit, Oh, okay. Yeah. In dangi. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. May you please state your name and surname? My name is Leonie Nguaiko. Alrighty. And what was your favorite part about the wedding thus far? Last night. Last night. What happened last that night? That one was lit. <laughs> No, I was very sad. Uh, but not that one. But dumb people. Mate, yeah, it was there somewhere, somewhere. Sorry, but they keep getting my mother one. Oh, we didn't know yet. And that made your night. It did. Ah, Rika, you also look gorgeous, honey. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> The day begins with the bride and groom sitting in front of the main house on Juwa Nene, surrounded by family members and elders. This setting is where blessings, prayers and well wishes are offered to the newlywed couple. <laughs> Chaka <laughs> The bride is given off to the groom and his family. This moment signifies the conclusion of the three-day wedding celebration from the bride's side and the formal transition of the bride from her parental home to her new home with the groom and his family. <laughs> 